Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, we explored Western Panama and found epic wild camping on empty beaches, fun, uncrowded waves, and abundant wildlife surrounded by natural beauty. But with an unusual off-season swell forecast to hit Panama's Caribbean islands, we crossed over the narrow country and headed for the port town of Almirante, where we hope to catch a ferry across to Bocas del Toro on the island of Cologne. We arrived in Almirante in the late afternoon and filled up on gasoline and groceries since we knew these things would be much pricier out on the island. Then we found the ferry port. The boat only leaves once a day at 7 a.m., but it's best to arrive early because it's first come, first serve, and they often run out of room for vehicles trying to board. Some guy was just parked there while we were trying to see if we could get somebody's attention, and he said he was the boss sitting in his car and that he didn't have the key to let us on the boat and we were just gonna have to get in this line with all the trucks and just wait all night long so we're parked here um, yeah feels sketchy it's kind of weird we decided to get a few drinks at the bar we were parked in front of so that we could use their facilities and get off the street for a couple of hours we ended up meeting some new friends these sisters from the United States had been in town for a couple of months while doing some major repairs on their sailboat, and they had some great stories to share. Good morning. Uh, we survived, but we just woke up to the sound of all these trucks. It's uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, I think, and so we don't really quite understand why we're being passed by trucks that have been behind us. There's so much anxiety right now about whether or not we're going to get on this boat. Uh, it keeps filling up with lots of trucks that were well behind us. Alright, Matt's running back, so hopefully that means it's our turn. To try to get one more car on, they backed up this huge truck that has, I don't know, one of those like, you know, road machine it's on it. And then they have this white truck drove up onto the back of it. That's impressive. Bocas del Toro and we're camped right in front of the surf break. Um, yesterday we rolled up and Matt went for a little surf and while he was surfing I was like hey I think we could maybe just like camp right here. I asked some locals they said like oh yeah no one will care so here we are um, and I've just got some bacon and eggs cooking. Oh I'm kind of burning the eggs and I'm trying to talk to you guys at the same time.
our friends Maddie and Ingrid, they pulled up yesterday and we're gonna head to the other side of the island. And there's supposed to be some nice, maybe spearfishing or at least some snorkeling. So we're gonna do that for a couple days uh, while we wait for another swell to come in and then we'll come right back here probably. Good morning. We are all about to go take a little hike to Playa Estrella <laughs> and go snorkeling. There's supposed to be like a lot of starfish at this beach. Get some denim panama and we putting them urbans on the pastas. Come on. <laughs> sure you don't want some wine with your pasta, man? Are you sure? I want some wine on my cup, not on my pasta. Oh, it's missing. Oh, it's all raining. Good morning. We are leaving Boca del Drago this morning. And we're going to be headed back to the other side of the island with our friends Ingrid and Maddie. And we are going to be looking for some surf. Hopefully we'll find something that everybody enjoys, including Amy. So we're here-ish, and we're trying to get a boat that's going to take us around over to here. But there's supposed to be like a long left hand reef break. Um, we have to go there and they drop us off and then we tell them when to come pick us up and it's three dollars to come back and we can park out here. Sounds fun, no? We got here kind of late last night, but we camped out at our little spot here and it was dumping rain this morning, but I got up really early and went out for a surf and got some fun waves before everybody else showed up. But pretty good crowd on it now, so Maddie and I got out of the water. We're just hanging out at the beach, but there are some good waves, so I'm gonna try to film some other people, see if I can at least show you the surf.
Bye, Ingrid. Say hi to the dogs in El Salvador, yeah, buddy? <laughs> you guys go to El Tunco, tell Wolfie I said what's up. Alright, alright, alright. Bye, Maddie! We're gonna miss you guys! Peace. You guys have the best trip, man. Thank Blessings. You. See you, Maddie! Uh, currently, we are driving through Bogus del Toro. We're gonna try to get in line for the ferry, the 3 o'clock ferry. Uh, we've got plans to go to the boatyard where we met a couple chicks while we were waiting for the ferry to get to Bogus. Uh, we had some beers with them at the bar there and I emailed them and said, hey, we're not going to be able to make it to the border because the border closes at 6. Can we come and stay the night in the boatyard and have some beers? And they said, I'd love to. So, that's our 24 hour plan. We're leaving Panama tomorrow. And that really is, that's a really crazy sensation to know, like, we did it. We drove from California to Panama. And now we're on our way home. And then everyone's probably like, what are you going to do next? And Matt, what are we going to do next? <laughs> um, well, we're hoping that we're going to make it up to Alaska. But we don't know. Next time on the Traveling Together Journal, we continue our journey northbound and negotiate the border into Costa Rica. Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos at the end of an episode, but I wanted to say thank you to the folks that have decided to help support this content by purchasing beers on our website. So thank you to Thomas Heater, Tim Greer, Jennifer Jones, Tate Lagergren, M. Ahern, Sarah Yondel, Stephen Warhol, and Tobin Reinhardt. Thanks for helping support the content. And if anybody out there watching would like to know how you can help support the content, click on the link on the screen. Then I'll take you to a page on our website that will tell you how you could buy us a beer or help support us in another way. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.